Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Hint, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in breaks? time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crickles. I'm 18 years like old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Yo, like, this remember is... how many eggs. Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. Alright. I'll let her know that. I reloaded the chapter. Just this chapter. And the reasons why I did that are... One, I want to see what we're supposed to do exactly in here. I wonder if it's as simple as just hide, throwing the keys outside. I like, I threw the keys out man? here into the yard so no, that he has to take the bus and so he doesn't That's end true. up in the car accident. Yeah, but is that what we have to do? Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. I know I've seen those pictures before. Second, I wanted to take a look, a closer look around, like the the. <laughs> Earlier, I was just so fucking taken back by the fact that we actually get to meet him in the flesh. Like, like throughout this entire game, he's been like a piv- He's not been a main character. Hell, he's not even been a minor- Well, I guess he's a minor character because he's a character. I- But I just never expected to meet him. And he has done so much for this game already in that he is like- a cr like a primary reason why Joyce is where she is in her life and why Chloe feels the way she does. He's an important character. I never thought I'd actually see him. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. This is like... Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time, unless I change it. We can't change time, though. It's, it's not how it works. We're gonna get punished for it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Okay. We'll get to see if this... Do you remember how many ...travels eggs? forward. Mom said it depends. Okay. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, let me- Man, I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. Tween life? <laughs> okay, redneck chic. Girl You're gamers. the real cook here? Oh man, I okay. When your mom is away. Okay. I'll let her know Let's that. Let's make the butterfly mark again. We'll see if it travels forward in time with us. I don't know. Like, we're gonna get punished. Like, I was really worried that perhaps it won't be, um... Of course. The snow doe belonged to William. Hello? Oh! Oh, okay, so in episode one, I, I, I didn't... I don't actually remember if I broke her snow globe or not. I think I might have. I don't, I don't remember. Um, but there was a snow hey, globe honey, that we could break by accident. And it belonged to him, huh? We're all going to work at the two whales. What does that mean? I don't I don't think it means that he's the dough. I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. My family never took fun goofy photos like this. Don't think he's the dough, but it might there mean sure. something. Love you. I have I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Dad, thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. This sketch is for you to always remember. Love, Chloe. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast You are upon. ridiculous. Okay. You'll be grateful for that someday. Okay. It looks... Shit, where am I? Fuck! That's a dollar for the swear jar! 
You mean your college fund? Fuck. 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 Okay, I think we have no choice. I can't let him walk out of here. Like, the game won't let me let William walk out of this house with his keys. Uh -huh. You can't hide from me for. Yeah. Oh, whoops. No, I, I meant to do that. Anyway. Draw it. The game won't let you let William walk out of this house without the keys. So we are currently being forced to, to change the pass. Makes sense. Does make total sense. Hello? So, since we have to let him die, might as well play around with everything. We know, like, we know what happens when we try to pick up the phone. God damn it. Boom. Disconnected. Wonder what's going to happen then. What happens if we disconnect? Do they have cell phones? Oh, there's a second phone in the house. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all Score! Going what? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Oh, God. This can't be good. What about David? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> oh, my God. You're ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. I just... Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Fuck. Okay. Please, please. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Um, I just had two thoughts. If William stays alive by taking the bus, then what if... Shit, where are those keys? What if Joyce ends up dead? I don't think that's going to happen, though. But what's going to happen is that Joyce is not going to remarry David Madsen. So... David Madsen might still be the security guard at Blackwell, but he will be an even more hard ass. He won't go easy on Chloe. He's not going to go easy on me. Things might change drastically. That's one. And two. The second is... The ending sequences of both episodes, one and two, have had glimpses of the Red Notebook binders, correct? What if that wasn't in that present universe that we were playing in? What if, by changing time, we caused those creepy binders to happen. Fuck, I don't know. That little porcupine up in the upper left is really cute, though. Another dollar for the swear jar. Let's just, okay. Right if it's uh, if it's gonna have to happen, then let's just get it over with. Fuck and fuck me, man. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. Release the keys. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. Just like release the Krakens. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max wasn't kidding when he, she said that she loves William like her own family. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Yeah. That whole release the keys thing. In, uh, in one of the episodes, Max says release the Kraken. Like, she obviously spends a lot of time in the Price household with with William and Joyce and Chloe. This man has so much to do with the way these girls grew up. Oh my god, what if, what the fuck is going on? I don't even know. This has been a completely messy playthrough of chapter three, or episode three. I am so sorry. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh, I'm a mess right now. This is fucking amazing though. Holy balls. You are such a whole bag. I knew you could talk about me. I'm not paying $150 for 
Oh my god, he's wearing blue now. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? Oh dear god, no. Max. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Oh, fuck me, dude, no. Do you no. want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? It's like my worst nightmare. Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. I don't want this. Oh, no, this is not right. I don't want this shit. We're what? wearing white pants. He hooked up with Stella? Oh, hurt emotions. I was hoping he would hook up with Brooke. Oh, no. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. I bet we're not even friends. I bet we're not even fucking friends. You sacrificed your friendship with Chloe to save her dad, didn't you? <gasps> fuck! Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Oh dear god, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. <laughs> the moment Victoria looked over at me, I, w I knew it. I was just like, oh my fucking god, what have we done? This is not good. This is not gonna be okay. The moment I saw Nathan was wearing a blue jacket i i also knew like oh my fucking god what the fuck is going on this isn't right and let me tell you why i have a, another theory about this game and it's it's colors are super important there's red characters and there's blue characters a lot of the good characters the quote unquote good characters have some kind of blue clothing on them and the 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 bad characters have like this red clothing associated with them or a shade of red nathan was wearing like an orange slash red slash burnt burnt orange color oh my god two whales three whales oh my god the house is fully <gasps> oh my god no oh my god no no, 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 no. It was William who half painted the house. That's why the house was unfinished. It's because he died. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Uh. Oh my god. Max is wearing a red armband or wristband now too. It's blue and it's red. Holy shit. Max Caulfield. Taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. Oh no. I'd never do Chloe's that. Chloe's dead. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Never mind, she's not. It's cool. Chloe! You have a visitor! Fuck, Joyce is dead. Chloe's crippled. Oh, Chloe's hit by a car. Chloe's crippled! <laughs> oh, motherfucking bullshit. See, Max, you can't change the past. Someone always has to pay. Oh, no. It's like fucking straight out of like the butterfly effect oh my god oh my god I'm sure William would oh my fucking god oh. I'm sure as her father William would probably rather die than see his little girl in a wear like in a wheelchair Like, if I were him, I, I would rather, I would rather die than see my little girl in a wheelchair. Oh my god. Like, like, 
if that was the situation if if there was a there was a girl that can change the fucking past and in one timeline i was meant to die and and she let me know that in the timeline that i die our daughter grows up to be the way chloe is as we know her i'd be okay with that i'd be like yo max just let me fucking die i'd rather have my daughter uh, as a tatted of punk with daddy issues and abandonment issues than have have her in a wheelchair at least at least i know that i was meant to die in in a timeline i'd be okay with that i mean i don't fucking know like how the uh, fuck the fucking audacity though you know like like that that is max's character she fucking is god not only is she a god she thinks she's god like she has the nerve to think that she can change everything and save everybody you can't save everybody every you it's natural to want to save everybody but you can't save everybody and this is a good lesson for her like chloe in a wheelchair is just the the fastest way for her to realize that her time travel powers have consequences man and the picture that was a total fluke she might try to go back in time to refix that mistake and let william die but the fact that she was able to do that through a photograph that might not even exist anymore in the future it's a very very strong lesson of how how you can't fuck with stuff sometimes you know things you just gotta let things happen this episode was goddamn amazing oh my god seriously oh man like when we got to the diner when we got to the diner i thought like oh you know maybe um maybe we're in the last leg and the show like you know episode's about to to end soon boy was i wrong there was so much fucking information there was so much information that was released during like the last like two legs of this this episode it was insane like so much shit so much I feel very guilty about what I've done to David Madsen. He was a security officer. Now he's just a, a bus driver. Actually, maybe that won't, maybe that's not a problem. It might keep him out of trouble more. We don't know if David's really the same David as he was before. Maybe he doesn't have... I mean, we went back in time a lot. Maybe he doesn't have PTSD. Maybe he never went to the military. Maybe he doesn't have the the fetish with security that he does oh my goodness gracious i cannot believe it though we are a popular girl now wearing white pants like that was just wrong like maxine wearing white pants it's just fucking wrong <laughs> i don't know i don't know it just looks and feels wrong to me in a pink sweater it's just so prep schooly like the max i know is a t-shirt and denim what blue denim kind of girl dude like oh my god what the fuck is going on and victoria looks up to us and she thinks <gasps> oh my fucking god are you shitting me max caulfield is fucking rachel amber the way the way victoria acted during that last little scene, the way Victoria acted, like she, she, she was acting like Max was so much cooler than her, and that Max was like top dog to Victoria, like head bitch. I feel like people would have treated Rachel like Rachel was top bitch, like Rachel was top bad bitch. Everybody loved Rachel. Everybody respected Rachel. Everybody. You know, she was like the center. The way Victoria treated Max just just now makes me feel like Max might be that sen same center of attention. Could it be they're the same fucking person now? Oh my fucking god, that's fucking crazy. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Also, I noticed that they didn't have a um the ending sequences that we're used to, like during episode one and two. It's just a, a, like a, a final scene. Oh man. What an amazing episode 3, like, like, this is great storytelling, like, here I'm thinking, like, episode 2 was really interesting and set up the scene for, 
for all sorts of stuff to happen. Everybody's kind of a suspect. It brings up a lot of unanswered questions that you can ponder about as you wait for the next episode to come out. Good stuff, good, good stuff. Episode 2, oh my goodness. Some answers, more questions. Oh, it can only get crazier. Never expected it to get this crazy. Like, never expected for for us to actually go back and motherfucking change change time and basically change the entire ending like i i thought i was foreseeing an ending i thought like the game would just be like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and if by that time you figure out how to save the tornado then good for you but most likely you won't and you'll end up with the lesson that oh maybe you can't change time oh maybe it's not meant to be like you gotta let things happen but i didn't expect for her to like do this whole butterfly effect the movie shit and go back in time to when they're kids and change the entire future i didn't expect that so the game can only get crazier like we've already done this once this is like the climax this is the middle episode this is the fucking climax things are gonna happen now and they're gonna probably get crazier but this is like the turning point in the story where where things could get crazier thank you donod you're fucking you guys are fucking amazing oh man like if we can do it once like if we can change the course of the future like by a long shot once maybe we can do it again and maybe we have to keep on doing that maybe the next episodes will just have us like flash through a bunch of alternate realities and try to figure out the right one i have no idea i have no idea and 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 fuck man my decision to steal the money like i thought we were gonna do some good and like change the change the outcome of Arcadia Bay as we were playing it. But then it turned out it was for naught. Like, it doesn't matter if we stole the money. Well, it really doesn't matter if we stole the money or not because now we're playing in a different fucking timeline. We're in a fucking alternate universe now, so it doesn't really matter in the scope of this game. But it makes you question your morals now. Now that I know it doesn't matter what happened, like... I feel really bad that I took the money. <laughs> it's like I it's like what I said about David Madsen. Like he was really creepy and he will continue to look creepy until his creepiness pays off and he does somebody some good. I stole the money under the justification that one, it's dirty money and two, taking it will do some good. It didn't do good. It doesn't matter if it did good or not because we're in another place right now. Now I feel bad. <laughs> it might change the the history and timeline of the other universe that we jumped out of, but we don't know because we're not there anymore. It's all right. The majority of people sided with Chloe. Most people kept Frank's dog from harm. I'm glad. Chloe has David's gun. Lisa's dead. Aw, oh, poor Lisa. 70% of Lisa's are dead. You didn't help Warren with his exam. I'm glad. You were not in the Vortex Club party list. Oh, we could have... Oh, when we went into the school at night, we could have written our name in. It doesn't even matter anymore now, does it? Unless we're getting back to that timeline. I would really like to get back to that timeline we've been playing in. Because I've put a lot of time into it. I really have. I really have. Didn't change the Club Vortex... Or the Vortex Club party list. I guess I could have erased some names, huh? Interesting. That's kind of messed up. Didn't erase the cop's message? Wait. Was that inside... Oh, that was inside Chloe's house in the morning. Yeah. On the morning that we stayed over. I'll have to go back and check that out. See if it's interesting. I warned the homeless woman. But most people didn't. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I, I, it felt like I had a lot of thoughts and a lot of opinions. But now that we're here, oh. Oh fuck yeah! Okay, cool, amazing. Amazing, okay, okay. I'm gonna put my faith in that preview and and um 
assume that we're going to come back to the timeline that we were in previously because we're wearing the same clothes that the Max I know and love has been wearing. <laughs> Shit. Mother f- Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll- I don't know. I don't know. Uh, my, my my brain's gonna blink right now. I don't think I said everything that I wanted to say during the the credit roll. <laughs> there was a lot to say, but I, I, I've lost it all. But I will say this. This was an amazing episode. I fucking loved it. Like, holy crap. This has been the best episode so far. Oh, man. Thank you all so much for for watching and commenting and, and like, sh like, sharing this experience with me. Like, you guys and girls are so great. Like, it's been a lot of fun. And I will be seeing you soon next episode. Have a good one. Later. <laughs> Bye.